Okay, let's take a moment and just go back to this picture for a moment and talk about writing activities with primary journals because we're going to do a whole bunch of questions involving writing using some type of journal. And uh, we have something like this is very common a primary journal, which allows the child a, a pre-K, a K to two writing journal, which allows children to draw as well as write. And in, in a journal like this, you could use this for, you know, lots of different grades, pre-kindergarten, kindergarten, first grade, second grade. It's allowing students to, at, at an emergent level, you know, and pre-literate level just to draw, right? And then as their writing progresses to emergent and transitional and fluent, they're able to write more language in. And so in this way right here, it can be a really helpful tool to support both those things. And we can see the progress as you go through the journal over the year, we'll be able to see the progress as, it, as that child transitions, moves from you know, preliterate, emergent, transitional to fluent in their writing, okay? All right, so these questions are gonna be all based on primary writing journals. And, and also, if you ever have a question involving a primary writing journal or some type of journal, you're automatic at, at the early grades, right? I want you to make this connection. You see a kindergartner working in their journal. This is automatically a writing activity, right? So it's automatically a print activity involving writing. And now you're, you're to determine what stage of writing it is, okay? All right, let's go to our first question. I want you to take a minute. I want you to read this. This actually might take two minutes because it's a little bit longer, right? But take, uh, take two minutes. This is from the reading specialist exam. And I want everyone to do it. So do it. You can do it. Two minutes. Read it to yourself. Uh, go. about it. it says here which of the following stages for promoting young children's writing development including their understanding that print conveys a message would be most effective and developmentally appropriate for a reading specialist to recommend to pre-kindergarten teachers so look at that you notice this this is for that reading specialist exam you notice the wordiness of that one sentence it's a long sentence right uh, we've had other case studies that were able to fit in a whole bunch of stuff here. Uh, but this one right here is more, I think it's more wordy than it needs to be, right? So it's looking for a strategy <clears throat> that promotes writing, okay? Now, I think that's what it could be boiled down to for pre-kindergarten. So we're looking at, um, five, uh, we're looking at, you know, four to five. I think that's what it's saying there. Yeah? Did I miss anything? Writing strategy <laughs> for pre-kindergarten? What would be a good strategy for pre-kindergarten? That's that's what it is. Everything else is just uh is just fluff. Okay, and now look at the answer choices. They're they're wordy too, right? Um <clears throat> so <clears throat> I only have three options. There are four options. Um on uh, this question here. I've only listed three um, and that's fine. I wanted you to be able to uh, read this and read the three and you know the answer the answer is a here. no surprise it's right in the question but but I want I want to talk about why it's a. So I'm going to read over a. It says here a create opportunities for children to write or draw meaningfully for a variety of purposes such as telling a story, commuting with a communicating with a friend and making a list. Team, doesn't that feel like that would just that'd be perfect for this grade? And if you're in pre-kindergarten right now, or in any in, in pre-kindergarten, kindergarten, right? You use these journals, yes? And 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 what do you do? Well, you you create lots of opportunities with a journal like this to have them write or draw, yes? And and you want to make sure that it's a drawing meaningfully. So there you give them a prompt in the drawing. So writing or drawing meaningfully. So they're gonna draw about what they did this weekend or they're gonna draw and write a short story about what they did this weekend, right? 
for a variety of different purposes. So, so one prompt might be uh, telling a story. Another writing activity might be uh, writing a letter to a friend. That's what that's saying. Communicating with a friend. Write a letter to a friend. Uh, a third prompt might be uh, making a list of things. Now, team, not everyone in this classroom teaches early childhood, right? But there are some teachers in this classroom that teach in early childhood or have taught in early childhood. And they're like, of course it's A, because I literally do A uh, four or five times a week when we're doing our, in our writing journals, right? So in this way here, this is the one that's perfect for pre-kindergarten. Now, if you're not working with pre-kindergarten, study this one right here, okay? Because you won't, you won't, uh, you might never be teaching pre-kindergarten. So how would you know that if you're, uh, how would you know that if you're, you know, how would you know that, right? So, uh, so I'm telling you now it's A. Now, uh, let's look at why these others are wrong. Uh, for pre-kindergarten, this age group right here, uh, B, emphasizing letter formation skills by having children trace their original sentences scribed by the teacher until they can copy sentences freehand on blank line paper. First of all, look at how wordy that is, right? That's a wordy phrase. Emphasizing letter formation skills by having children trace their original sentence scribed by the teacher until they can copy the sentences freehanded on blank line paper. It's wordy. Yes. And what is it? Okay, so what you're asking them to do is uh, copy sentences. Does everyone have that? Copy sentences? Hmm. I mean, that just, that's like, that's like a, Red flag for me, copy set, right? Who agrees? Copy sentences. That just sounds terrible. Uh, okay, let's have this one right here. Uh, provide age appropriate prompts that ensure children can write in a variety of genres, including writing, explanations, stories, responses to books. Okay, uh, writing explanations, uh, stories, responses to books at this age right here respond what are they going to write has have you i mean obviously this is the wrong answer but if you're in pre-kindergarten and a four to five year old are they really writing a whole lot i mean think about it is their writing that extensive that it would fill up a page in a response of a book i think that the answer for 95 percent of you is absolutely no right so no that's not age appropriate right Write me a couple of paragraphs on a summary of a book. No. So, so team, do you see how, well, first of all, do you see the wordiness in this question? Yes. That's a reading. This is the reading special exam. They're giving those reading specialists a harder question. But, but you know what? I'm giving this to everyone, reading specialist and regular teacher, because I want you to be like, this question is looking for a, a writing strategy for pre-kindergarten. Can you boil that down? And then I'm hoping that you can spot the activity. Like, you know, writing in your mind, in your mind, you need to be like writing strategy for pre-kindergarten that would, you know, probably something involving this, right? And you could use something like this for um, storytelling, letter to a friend, and making a list. Or you could cross out these and be like, no go right? Not going to work. So you can get to the right answer in a bunch of ways. You can spot the core scenario and match it up with the best answer that, that, that uh, you're paraphrasing, or you can cross out the ones that totally don't make sense because you found some type of major red flag in them. Okay. Either way, the answer is A. So it's from this test here. And we have some ideas, print awareness, primary journals, even though it doesn't say primary journals, that's what you'd probably be using. And then drawing and writing in meaningful ways. These are the activities that you would do at that stage because at pre-kindergarten, you know, some kids are gonna be at that transit pre-literate, some will be at that emergent. So you could have students in pre-kindergarten, right? At all stages here. Some will be at that pre-literate, just drawing. Some will be at that emergent writing stage, drawing and symbolic writing. 
uh, symbolic letters, um, scribbles. Some will be at that, um, uh, that transitional stage where we'll start to see inventive spelling and drawing. Some will be, uh, some will be at a more expanded stage where we see, you know, more fluent writing, sentence, phrases, sentences, um, complete sentences, maybe a couple sentences, a short story. So, so you might see something like this uh, um, in each of these categories. So the journal would help support students in each of these areas, stages of writing, okay? All right, let's go to the next.